Alright, to create a C file, first of all, you have to open the MPLAB IDE. Okay. Whatever the version is. Right. Mm. New projects. Let's choose microchip embedded. Let's uh, pick mid range mid range eight bit MCUs and look for PIC sixteen F eighty four. Next, let's look at the lab sheet. Um, Hardware tools, whatever hardware tools you can choose. Now, um, compiler tool chains. Compiler, you have to choose um, MPASM, XC8, or High Tech PICC. Uh, it looks like I have to download it first. Okay. Right now, you can see the selections is there for XC8. This is for C compiler uh, that you are going to use. Um, put a name for a project. Let's uh, use lab open. Browse the location. Set as main project. And the rest is up to you. Right now it's uh, ready. Let's uh, create new source file. Let's put in main. Uh, let's take main. Let's see. File name lab one uh, extension C and click finish. Right now you have the um, code to work with. Now um, let's write the program uh, which I have uh, prepared here. Okay, I'll just copy it here and paste it. Right. Right, um, what's next is need to build the project. I'll put here build successful loading code from where your folder is. This is going to be very long. Okay, so if you can see the output is um, that one x production dot hex. This is what you're going to have. Uh, this is the file that you need dot hex which is the output of the um, um, the C code that you put you you wrote and then uh, we build it and output to hex code hex code is hex code is actually the hexadecimal based uh, code which will be used in the machine okay so uh, take note of this um, directory that you use so in your PC, you have to check which direct, uh, which is your directory and the output where you have to look for, for the file. Next, we have to open up um, um, Proteus 8. Oops. Okay. So in the Proteus, you are going to um, New project, create a new project. Browse your lo project lo location. Select folder. 
um, I'll put it as lab one dot ps pdsprj pdsprj is the extension for the file extension for the simulation okay new project next the um, do not create schematic. create schematic yes we need to create schematic next do not create a pcb layout yes we, that's what we want we don't uh, we're not going to do a pcb uh, create the firmware project um, let's try without firmware we'll see finish find your PIC uh, okay process has only 16 f84a so you're gonna have to use that in your um, program code right now you have the um, microcontroller there let's say you need to do what you need to do is to draw all these circuits um, required so how to do that first of all you have to click here component mode click here in the live uh, pick devices so now let's say you want LED just type LED and search for your LED for simulation um, for simulation you need to have different type of LED um, you can try any of these but um, you'll see some of them might work some of them might not work let's say I'll, I'm taking this LED green um, there is a PCB preview what, but we're not doing PCB we're just doing the uh, um, simulation so it's alright with that so, okay you can use the your mouse scroll to zoom okay what else do we need in the um, schematic LED and then uh, ground Okay, this one according to the schematic it's this way and then ground ground you have to pick from here terminal small ground connect them and then for the LED you have to have a resistor 330 so you have to pick a resistor um, component mode pick Resistor, just take a generic resistor symbol. Okay, by default it's 10k. You double click that, you just uh, write 330, and then you have to connect it. Okay, what else do you need? Um, you need this resistor as well and then a switch and then this crystal okay you need a resistor and then you need a switch so whatever the components you need you have to find it here SW ITC H so you have default analog switch here uh, you can use push button switch um, I don't know how to call it PUSH yeah this is the one right let's see where the switch is connected to okay this one goes to M clear and then another set of uh, resistor and a switch goes to RB0 What I can would like to do is just copy this whole block. I select it and uh, make a copy. Okay. So now after this, I can uh, I, I can rearrange the circuit because I want to connect it M clear, and then one goes to VDD. So VDD ground everything is here. Power. 
Okay. This one coming there. And you need a ground here and one here. Connect there. And connect the ground. This one goes to RB0. Okay, so what else do we need? This one's done at 10k, 4.7k. So this is 10k, this is 4.7k. Oh, okay, I missed that one. So I have to connect this one first. And then what else? Okay, crystal sweater and uh, 22 pico um, capacitive. So you, uh, same method, pick that. Okay, choose your device capacitor. Okay, capacitor is 22 pico. Just write that 22 p. 22 p. Then we need crystal. Okay, quartz crystal. Here, crystal, it's my crystal. Connect it. Okay, just to OSC1, OSC2. Okay, OSC1, OSC2 must be connected to the crystal. And then the other end goes to the ground. Take a ground. So that's it. So we're done with this um, um, schematic. Uh, what you need to do now is to load the hex file. Okay, double click here, and you can see here program file. This is where you have, you have to choose. You can see there's a uh, folder icon here. Click that, and then find your file. Remember when I mentioned about .hex file? So you have to find this file. Okay, once you have found it. What is it supposed to be in frequency? It's 4 megahertz. That's it. And when you want to do simulation, this is you click this here, this thing here. Okay, and then you run uh, simulation this one. So you can see here when I press button, the the LED is uh, light up. See, this is a push button switch. It will show the LED is on. So what it does here is let's go back to the program code. I don't know how to enlarge this. Um, If you can see, um, uh, trees A, trees B, these are all, um, um, we set the port as input or output. And then, if uh, the program starts, uh, the loops starts here, Y1, meaning the program loops uh, forever. Um, if RB0 is 0, port A is 0 times 0 F, else port A is 0 times 0, 0, meaning what? Okay. Let me put a uh, command here. So zero 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 zero. Um, what is F? It is one 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 one. That's what happens. Okay. So if RB zero is zero, what it means by RB zero is zero? Meaning uh, when port B zero here is zero. Meaning when you press the switch. Okay. RB zero is connected to the ground. If not, it connected to VCC. Okay, that's what is uh, uh, what is happening there. 
okay uh, what's the put okay so if not if meaning if uh, port b0 is not pressed what you will do is output port a is zero that's the basic thing um, for this uh, lab right that's all for now